Hi, everybody, welcome back to my Sun and Moon Blind Placer, episode 49. Alright, so we're gonna battle these things, these dudes. I, uh, revived, um, Metro before, last, before this episode. Um, last episode, we ran around frantically throughout the entire canyon and we received our fairy, fairy MZ, which is handy. Uh, so this episode, we're going to try and get to Solar Lair and hopefully, hopefully win these battles, because it looks like this is the right direction from here on, because I see up ahead there's a, there was a couple of the things, um, going for the fire fang right now, I reckon, scratching the beard, sorry, um, I'm sorry it takes itself. Fire Fang! Boom. And Epsil's out of here! Alright, cool. Um, we're gonna switch into Palico for Lapras. You know, I think Lapras is pretty physically tanky. So for Palico, it's gonna be straight up perfect for this. Alright, we're gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Good old Thunderbolt. Boom. No, ah, Lapras is especially tight. Hydro Pump's going to really do a dint in us, but that's okay. We've got the Quick Claw. Nice. Love the Quick Claw. Loving the Quick Claw. Gained a boost. 51. Oh, we're really pulling in the work, this team. Really pulling in the work. Alright, so. So another 3k. Do a couple more, another two battles or so before we get into that cave. Um. Hopefully. Hopefully we don't have to go much further past that cave. So three Pokemon here. Stoutland. Can we. Can Metro take a Stoutland? I think Metro can take a Stoutland. Stoutland. So I'm gonna go for the, uh. The. Flare Blitz, I reckon. Yeah, go for the Flare Blitz, because then we're going to get the Stab. And then, yeah. Yeah, the Flare Blitz. Still not that great. It's using Retaliate. That carried us. So that's kind of the thing I was expecting. That's okay, because we're going to switch into... Ronda. Ronda's going to go out, because, uh... Stoutland's weak against fighting, because it's normal type. So we're going to go for the close combat. And boom. Out of here. Ah, oh, defense, that's okay. We can we can do with a slight stat drop. Because we leveled to 50. Alright, element 5 is also 50. Rig is 51. Wow. Clef key. So we're going to switch in for Clef King to Hawkeye. Hawkeye's got the ghost type move, so going to KO it, ground straight up. So Clef King is not that tanky. I don't think it is. I actually know nothing about Clef King. I don't know what magic room is either. Okay. Miller escape, that is ideal. We've got the spirit shackle again. And out of here. See, we're actually powering through these battles. We've got one more Pokemon left in this one, and we're like four minutes in. I don't know what Tessarino is. Tessarino. Tessarino. Yeah, I'm saying that right. No idea, we're going for the spirit shackle there. It's probably fairy grass or something. Spirit Track Hold, boom. There we are, like... I don't know. Survive that, that's odd. There must be a roll. Alright, if that's the case, we're going for Leaf Blade. 
There you go, that's out. So like five minutes in, and we get taken out two two of these trainers. We are smashing it. No joke. Really, really smashing it here, guys. One more left before we go into that cave, and then we find out what's in the cave. Are you excited? I'm excited. One more than the cave. The cave is life. I'm not, I'm just saying stuff. I'm just saying stuff. <laughs> cave is not life. Alright, we got a few Pokemon to take out now. Start off with Granbill. Uh, we got Element 5. I think Element 5 might be able to take the Granbill. Granbill. If I go for the. I reckon. Uh, okay, liquidation. We're going liquidation. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can take out. What did. Oh, Granbill forced me out. Papelco. I'm pretty sure Papelco is not a better choice for you. Pretty sure you just wasted a turn. Yeah, you just wasted wasted a turn and a Pokemon to get rid of the Pokemon I had at the front. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna switch out four element five on Golem because um, unless he uses self destruct, we should be we should be able to take KO him. Unless he goes first and uses self destruct. Oh, it's electric Golem. Uh, right. This is the new Golem. And I forgot about that, being electric type. And he's got the stealth rock set up. Okay, that's not that's not great, but we're still going to take him out with liquidation. Um, yeah, that's electric type. So putting a water type up against it was a horrible choice. I completely forgot that was a thing. Um, that's okay. That's all right. We we dealt with it. Switching Gengar. We're we'll keep in for this this time. Because, um, he is, yeah, he's obviously got the, um, the stealth rock set up. So that's, that's, oh, oh bloody hell. Forgot about that. Uh, we're going for assurance on Rondo. Rondo can take the entry hazard. There we go, that's the entry hazard. And then we're going to go for the... Assurance is super effective. Should be able to KO this Gengar. Yep, Gengar's out of here. That's awesome. Alright, so next up we've got Papelko's level 55. This Cloister. I'm gonna stay in. I reckon I can take Cloister with. with, um. Ronda here. We're gonna go for the close combat though. Yes! Oh, I thought so. Alright, so it's eight minutes. Eight minutes in, and we're taking out three trainers. So in eight minutes, it's less than eight minutes, actually. Alright. Made it to the cave, Lily. Lily, you coming behind me? Yeah. Whew. She healed me up again. That's what I need. That's what I needed. Alright, we're at the, we're at the cave entrance. What is that? Sorry, the better I'm reading it. We're ready for the challenge. Trial start. Alright. I'm just gonna walk, I don't wanna run. So I do see... There's this cave here. Pokemon? What was that? There's a team in the cave. Oh! Germango! Gem... I'm going to try and pronounce this. Jang Mo. Oh, Outrage. Oh, this is a genius idea. It's Dragon type, right? Outrage is Dragon. Dragon is a weak against Dragon typing. That is smart idea that... Oh, so happy I decided that. To do that now. Whew. Great plan, man. Great plan. 
There's a fiercer gaze. We are tear <laughs> to Dragon Claw. So I'm assuming there's some type of dragon thing going on here. Another dragon. Another dragon. This one's Jangmaro's evolution. Hakamaro. Now I'm going to do the same strategy. It's literally, that's every... Same strategy every single time. I'm going to go for the outrage. I'm thinking... Maybe I want to swap the Quick Claw onto... Arcanine here? Because then that's going to give me... The speed I might need. That might be a good idea, actually. I think it might be a great idea. Alright, that's... I'm going to do that because if, um... We're going to put... The Electrium Z... On... Propelco. I'm going to put the, the Quick Claw... Back onto... I think the Claws in here. Give it some Metro, just to get him the stick that that higher chance of speed on the final. Here we are. Here we go. Totem Pokemon. Look at that guy. Oh, he's looking really, really, really tank. Really, really, really tank. So I'm thinking, right here, Totem Komomo. Oh. Komomo. So he's, he's that's because he's he's probably gonna have some pretty t hefty speed, right? He's, he's the pseudo legendary. He's also got stat increases and he's a lower level. So the reason why I want the quick claw is he's going for the protect straight up. That's a good idea. Really hoping to get that um. That, that quick claw off and go first. Um, even if it's like one chance to uh, what I do. Did I just use it on myself? Sky Apricot, which is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Alright, so he's, he's up in his speed. Now, I'm locked into Outrage now. I just need the... He's going for the second Sky Cup. So I don't know this thing's typing. All I know is that it is um, Dragon typing. So we're going to have to pull out something pretty hefty right here. We're going to go for Rondo. I reckon Rondo's got the speed to do this. Um, but I don't know... How effective close combat's going to be on um, Homomaya. Uh, hum it's gone for another protect. So, this thing is boosting its stats like crazy. It's using protect. Um, we're just going to have to keep on. I keep at it, really. It's using Sky Uppercut, which is fine. Sky Uppercut is flying type, so... And that thing's using Sky Uppercut. So, that thing's speed dies. Oh no, it doesn't die. Oh... Uh, we'll go for... Oh, Psychic super effective. We're going for the Psychic then. We're going for the... Oh no. It's like it's having first one today. Oh, okay. So, it's going to keep on doing the Protect. It, that thing's going to keep on boosting its stats. Whew, this might be a bit rough. Um, Alright, come on. Come on. It's a bit slow. He's starting to use Bide, which shouldn't matter because I'm not attacking it yet. Go for this Psychic on that thing. Did it. Okay, so therefore the Psychic should be pretty good on the next one. Because it's biting for three turns, so as long as I KO it this turn, it should be good. It's still storing energy, like I haven't hit it yet, so it shouldn't deal anything to back to me yet. 
And that's it. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I'll come back next episode and we'll find out what happens after this. Thank you.